The Pottawatomie County Community Foundation and Cheryl Heinegger grants the Council Bluffs Park and Recreation Department $1,350. The event uh, takes okay, place okay. on Tuesday, uh, October so 7th at Fairmont slip. Park. The money uh, given to officials Cheryl. go towards its yeah, return to Fairmont doing. Park project, which is an objective of former Question. Director of Parks and Recreation to, uh, Richard Downing. This was a dream of Dick's before he passed away, and uh, it was his dream to redevelop the Fairmont Park area because of, as Barry said, all of the events that had taken care of that had taken place here. And this was just the first of a handful of events that took place at Fairmont Park over the week showing off the project. In news around the bluffs, the city reveals what has been completed so far. Friday, October 9th, an open house is held showcasing phase one of the return to Fairmont Park project. Part of a plan to upgrade the entire park, phase one includes restoration of its woodlands, also establishing 1,200 feet of trails and the creation of a water playground all of this coming together from a partnership by the city, donors, and the Rotary Club of Council Bluffs. Rotary took it on as a project because of their 100th anniversary as a club. They wanted to raise $1,000 for every year or $100,000, and they well exceeded that and donated all that money to the park. The park opened up the first phase to the community on Saturday the 10th. Phase 2 of the project is expected to begin by spring. Heartland Family Service holds a ribbon cutting and open house to display its newest additions. Wednesday, October 7th, HFS holds the event for its Kaboom Playground and the opening of the organization's new therapeutic school location at 2912 9th Avenue. Both help serve kids with mental illness. We serve all of the Southwest Iowa area, so it's just really important and I think it's an investment the families feel in them and in their uh, kids. The school was previously on 15th Street and will continue to help kids from 29 different Southwest Iowa schools. While the presidential election season is about to begin nationally, another kind of election starts here in Council Bluffs. Tuesday, October 6th, City Council primary elections take place through various locations. Three seats are up for grabs. Tuesday's election is to eliminate one of the seven candidates. Hey, it's, to me, it's come. Vote for who you want to be on the board and then next month do it again just so you get your word, your voice is being spoken. After polls closed, businessman Roger Sandow led with 821 votes. Current city council member Nate Watson finished second with 722 votes. Other city council members Lynn Brannigan and Sharon White finished with 670 votes and 666 votes respectively.